thanks, Troy. As, as Troy said, I'm a mentor here. But, but one of the big reasons I'm here, probably the big reason here, is that I'm, like so many of you, I'm an alumna. Not of uh, Accelerate per se, but of this community, the community that spawned. And as such, I have a lot of passion for that. It's given me that kind of dual perspective, which I think is a little bit unique. And that leads me to believe we should expect the extraordinary out of this group. I don't think it's going out on a big limb to say that great things are going to happen. They've already happened. You put this community and the quality of the individuals, their character and their drive and ability, great things are going to happen. But I'm talking about something different, something unique, extraordinary. That moment in time when the impossible becomes possible. It's the kind of thing that academics do case studies and research on, authors write books on. And I was uh, not long ago at a reception where J.B. Pritzker spoke about this. And he talked about this fanaticism that drives great entrepreneurs to these high heights, the extraordinary. A kind of craziness that allows them to dive right into the unknown fearlessly. There's no doubt that's true for a lot. But I want to talk about another group. Because for them, the community is every bit as important as the individual. How so? Well, think about it. What are the fears that hold us back? The real fears that not just keep us up at night, but hold us back. Well, the economic consequence of failure, sure. But the truth is that's inconvenience. The people in this room aren't going to be hungry or destitute because of the failure in entrepreneurship. No, the fear is the emotional one. All the people who stood by you, who've bled and worked with you, people who've invested in you, the fear that you're going to have to tell them that you failed. That's the fear. But 20-some years in this community, I'll tell you what I've learned. I learned that every time I felt we failed, that there was no hope left, there was someone, someone in this room, who would say, I still believe. And every time that I felt that I had failed, that I was a failure and that there was no hope left for me, I found somebody else. Somebody would say, yeah. I've been through that, I've done that, you'll be all right. I found somebody else who said, no, I still believe in you. Somebody with the credibility to make me believe again. Yeah, no, that's, that's big and that's what this community is all about. And so you pick yourself up, you dust yourself off and uh, you still have those fears. But now they're not holding you back anymore. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you may wonder exactly how you've participated, just as some who've been so instrumental to me at certain points don't know who they are. But either way, that's not the point. You see, when we come together to support one another, we form a kind of a safety net. And the glory in that safety net is not in the moment it catches the acrobat who's fallen. The glory, the real glory, is in the moment that acrobat goes higher and further than anyone thought was possible. Not because they're crazy, not because they don't understand the risk, because they know that you'll be there to catch them if they fall. When I was coming of age in this community up in Evanston's Northwestern Research Park, we had community, we had networking, we had mentorship, so to speak, but it was very sloppy, it was ad hoc, and it had big holes in it. Now, thanks to Troy and Sam, thanks to all of you, we've made that systematic stitched it together tightly. 740 meetings you passed along your knowledge, your experience, your judgment. But quietly, and I know you well enough to know this, you also passed along that spiritual, that emotional support. And that, that's how you take great individual potential and you make the extraordinary possible. When, where will lightning strike? Nobody can know that. But I know one thing. I know that the greatest luxury in life is no car, boat, vacation. It's not money. It's not even business success. We all know that comes and goes. No. The greatest luxury is to live your life feeling that there is no challenge that's too great for you to accept, that there's no dream that's too big for you to hold. I wasn't born with that feeling. You gave it to me. And whether you realize it or not, you're giving it to all these entrepreneurs up here. That's a hell of a gift. Be proud of it. And thank you. Thank you.